Hey, hey, it's Dina Tollefson. Welcome to my studio. I'm so excited. Today we have new art supplies, a new art haul. Okay, so I ordered these. Um, I ordered these art supplies, and here they are. Uh, got them from Blick. And uh, let's do an unboxing of these, and uh, and I want to show you what I've got. So this is exciting. Get my trusty knife here. Okay. Now let's do. Let's cut this. Uh, cut this thing open and see what we've got. All right. This is so. Oh my goodness! I just love new art supplies. I know everybody does. This is such a thrill. To, uh, to get something new uh, to be creative with. So, all right, so let's take a look here and see what we've got here. Lots of these, lots of the bubble bags, all right. You know what, I'm just gonna set these down here. I'll pick them up later, and I'll make sure that I move them so my little dog muffin doesn't get in them. Okay, so more air bags, more air bags. Another air bag, boy, they have a lot of air bags in here. There we go, we've got our, we have our receipt, and then we have uh, here, I got three of these. These are the Golden Titanium White Acrylic, Heavy Bodied Acrylic. This is my go-to acrylic, um, love this. Uh, this is the Titanium White. Um, I go through so much of this, uh, this paint, like to mix it with other colors, sometimes used on its own. But um, just a wonderful, wonderful paint. And uh, got three of these. So we have one, we've got two, we've got three. And on my um, larger paintings, like, uh, like the one back here, this one happens to be oil paint. Um, but on these larger paintings, I'll go through, you know, sometimes five tubes, three to five tubes of paint, something like this, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how textured I want it to be. So, um, so definitely, uh, it's all about the texture and uh, getting the right paint. So I do love this paint. Lots of other brands out there that I've used and also like, but just uh, this one happens to be a really good one for me. So let me set these down. And then let's see what else. This is the big item that was uh, purchased here. And voila, here we go. This is, oh my goodness, I love these. I'll set the box down over here. Okay. Oh, I see the delivery man is coming. The doorbell may ring, but uh, we're just going to let uh, let him drop it off at the front door. So this is, oh, there, that was the doorbell. And then you can hear Muffin, and Muffin has to respond. So, um, yeah, poor Muffin. She has to guard <laughs> and say, thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So I just got Muffin calmed down. <laughs> She, uh, she's like very tiny, three pounds, but she's very ferocious, that little thing. So anyway, here is the Stay Wet palette, and I'm super excited about this. So um, Masterson makes this, and I've used these, uh, used these a lot in my uh, studio practice. Let's get it open. It's called the Stay Wet Premier Palette, and um, it's ideal for projects that require a maximum palette surface. But what I really use this for is uh, acrylic painting. Now, um, I will use other things when I'm doing oil painting, but you know, as for those of you who use acrylics know, uh, it, there's nothing more frustrating than you get a color going on your palette that you really like or that's on the painting and you want to match it, and then you go to your paint and you have forgot to spray it with the mister, and, and, and then, oh my goodness, now it's ruined, and what will you do? And Or um, you may have, uh, been doing some painting and then uh, you go and you thought you had the surface covered and then you go and you look and all the paint got on top of the plastic wrap if you cover with plastic wrap or foil or you know you got called away for something thought it was going to dry slower than it did. Uh, another big use um, or reason why a person might want to use a palette that is a moisture retentive palette uh, rather than just spraying with water is uh, is really um, the whole idea that you can keep the paint for literally for weeks um, in these airtight containers if you keep the lid on. Um, if you're painting in plein air, which means that you're outdoors, 
then uh, these are wonderful for uh, painting outdoors because, um, and, and again, those of you who are, who are uh, outdoor painters know that that uh, when you're indoor painting, you can keep some acrylics on your uh, palette for, you know, an hour, maybe two hours even, depending on humidity and how hot it is inside. When you go outside, oh my goodness, it is crazy how fast the acrylics dry. So this is the solution. This is what you can use for that. So uh, it comes with um, some instructions and some things like that. Um, and so I'll just set these down here. And let's open our lid. What this can comes with, ugh, well, it is airtight. It's, it's really, it's really on here. I'm gonna pull it off. It's a little, got a great seal. I'll say the one negative um, about these things is the, the lid. If you aren't careful with the lid, do not put the lid in the dishwasher, whatever you do. And you wouldn't want to do that anyway, where you're mixing your paint with your eating utensils. But, um, but these lids, um, they, you want to store your lid. If you don't have the lid on, um, keep the lid flat because the, flat, the lid can get a little wonky over time. And then, uh, then what you end up doing is you put it on and you have to put like books over the top or do something to hold it in place. So the key is keep this uh, nice and level and flat. And what you do is you have to get this thing hot in hot water and it has to... Um, cure in hot water before you use it and what it will do is it will make the paper activated so that it will wick properly between the slightly damp um, uh, sponge here and it will wick just the right amount of uh, moisture and then your uh, paint then when it sits on here will be at just the right humidity at all times and so you can uh, just leave this on and you're painting with it. And then um, if you walk away for an hour and come back, your paint is still in good shape. So to test that, and so this comes with, oh, and one other thing is this does come with extra sheets. And you can flip the sheet over and then paint on another side. You can wipe the sheet off as long as it's all kept wet. Um, you can be painting for weeks with this thing. But I'll say that um, I thought what we could do, um, because my pa in my past I was an engineer, or I guess once an engineer, always an engineer, but I used to be an engineer, work as an engineer, uh, and then I left uh, and had been well, showing in galleries since 2000, and then said, hey, um, you know, let's leave engineering for the last five years. I've been just uh, full-time um, as an artist. So, so I have this thing and I like to do an experiment. So I have um, some little things here. And um, what we'll do is I will go and show you how to activate and how to set this Masterson palette up. And then um, what I thought we could do is we'll do an experiment and we're gonna put some paint on and I've got some little things that we can try. Just typical things that we as artists might stick acrylic paint on and let's test them and see how long, if we just leave them all out at room temperature, what's gonna happen. And so what I'll do is I'll typically like lightly fold the paper and then just stick it here in the microwave. And I'll um, just submerge it. All right, guy, just go on down there. And then go ahead and set the, um, now this is a kind of a big, the bigger sheet, so I'll tend to do that for like, say, seven minutes. So let's go, quick time, seven minutes. Okay, and then we'll come back. And then I use like, I like to use this little tool and uh, periodically I'll go in and <laughs> just take the handle. Just make sure that the paper's underwater. And I can see I need to probably add a little bit more water. So let's get some going. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to our tray. That's good. Okay, and now, now let's microwave. Okay. okay. But I'm just gonna squeeze this out. And I like to get it pretty squeezed out, pretty dry. Okay, so now we've got our nice little dry guy and he looks like so and just plop him into the box like that. 
and it's going to be a little bit rumply, but don't worry about that. That's fine. And then what's going to go on top once this thing's done, the paper is done, that's been um, activated, we're going to lay the paper on top. So easy peasy. Okay. All right. So uh, microwave's ready. Thank you, microwave, for doing the work. All right. So now um, let's go ahead and fish this thing out of here and get it onto our palette. So let me get, uh, get this going here. Alright, and I like to just kind of let it uh, drip on its own. If, it's got, if you've got extra water in here, no problem. But if you see that the paper, it's, it's a, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, the paper has gone from totally opaque to slightly translucent, or a little bit of translucent. And that's how you'll know that, you, um, that you've activated the paper, is it gets a little translucent. So um, what uh, you can also see that there's this wicking action that's already occurring where the um, water, the excess water, if you had excess water, you can wipe it off with a paper towel or a clean towel, something like that from the studio towel. But um, if you look, you can kind of see that. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but the uh, what's going on is the um, sponge underneath is uh, equalizing and getting the right amount of moisture back down into the sponge, and it's giving the right level of wetness onto the top of the paper. So this is ready to use. Really, you just put your lid on, or you can leave your lid off, uh, you know, while you're painting, of course. Uh, put the lid back on when you're not painting. It's just as easy as that. If you do get acrylic paint, um, either on these little doodads on the lid, or get it on the lid, or get it on the, the thing here, uh, it does scrape off pretty easily with a palette knife. So, all right, now what I want to do is this fun experiment that we talked about where let's go ahead and put some paint, some acrylic paint on our new Master Sun Wet Stay, uh, Stay Wet palette and then also put it on those other things that uh, the aluminum foil, the cardboard, that kind of thing and let's do a time test and see how long do those things hold out before they become unusable versus if we put it into a uh, into a special palette that is going to maintain the right temperature, or the right temperature, not temperature, the right humidity and moisture level for the paint. So, all right, let's get started with that. To use a little bit of this, um, our Diorolide Yellow, just going to try and put the same amount with like a little swirl, a little scuff thing like that. Get a, whoops, he needs a little bit more. I'm going to try and get the same amount on each one. I think that needs a little bit more. Okay, plastic bowl. Let's get a little bit going in there. And parchment paper. Let's get, whoops, you know, he is a little there. What I'm trying to do is do like a clump and then a tail. Let's just see what kind of happens. Uh, so let's say that uh, we'll set maybe 60 minutes on our timer. Okay, so here we are. We're getting really close to our one hour mark. So I've got, um, wrote a little thing for a number of hours. We've got one hour going. As soon as we hear the bell, then we can go ahead and do our, um, our testing. So I'll get over here and be ready when we hear our bell. Then I'll set it right away for another, for another 60 minutes. Okay, very good. So we've got our 60 minutes going. Let me set the timer for another hour. But what we should do now is let's go ahead and check everything, check how everything uh, is doing. So I've got these little toothpicks here, these little party toothpicks. And what I want to do is just go ahead, I'm just going to test the end. So this is the end. Aha. Okay, interesting. So the, the foil, if I try and uh, run the thing across, this is already dry and not usable anymore. Let's see if we, yeah, if I stick my, um, stick the little guy in here in this thicker section, that's still workable, but here on the ends, this is no longer um, usable paint here on these edges, on the very small little edges, and then along in this little tail. I, on purpose, when we put the paint out, um, I put it out in this kind of this uh, form like a comet to kind of uh, simulate if you have like a very thin amount on your palette versus if you have 
a thicker glob. So let's try the paper plate next. And just, uh, just like the aluminum foil, this is no longer usable. This paint is, uh, is, is dry here. But look, we've got like a little bit of a, we still have um, good, uh, well, it's a little bit sticky here. It's, we're getting like some lumps, some uh, yucky lumps here with uh, that we would have to take off. It's getting kind of like, uh, there, some yucky, uh, but the inside of it is still uh, just fine. So, but the outside would have to be discarded. Okay, and I'm gonna just wipe off my my little tool here so we can keep testing, okay. All right, so we tried the aluminum foil, we tried the paper plate. Let's look at cardboard and see how it's faring here. So the end, um, the end of it is uh, completely dry, but we see that as we get a little further in, this is still good. Um, the ends over here, it looks like it's getting tacky, but it's still, uh, still in good shape. Okay, so cardboard's doing well. Let's wipe that off. Let's check our um, Stay Wet palette. So, you see I can mark on here and I can still get um, wet paint all the way up, even into the little tail. So that's, uh, that's good to see. That's, that's what, what we expected in our hypothesis. Now let's try the plastic lid. So let's move across here. You see we can't um, we can't do the, just like we could do this here, we still have wet paint. Well, we don't have wet paint anymore here on the plastic lid. Over here, it looks like we're getting some tackiness and it's like uh, clumping up. But the center of it is still in good shape, but it's starting to set up here after that, the one hour mark. Uh, with that, uh, with that part, it's getting kind of glumpy, if glumpy is the word. Okay, now let's do parchment paper. I'll put my little other stick over here. Parchment paper, let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, look at that. It's uh, hard and it's unusable here. It's coming off in clumps. Let's try a little further in. Oh wow, interestingly, the parchment paper, even like over into here, this is now dry. Interesting, look at that. That's unusable now. So it cannot be resuscitated with uh, the spray bottle. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so I've got some soft, workable stuff inside, but the edges on the outside are getting very dry. All right, so that's interesting. So it looks like the one that's in the worst shape right now is parchment paper, and the best shape is the Stay Wet palette. Again, just not adding any mist, no water added, um, just everything just out here in the open air. Okay, and then last, let's try this plastic bowl. Now, my guess is that the plastic bowl is going to be better than the others because um, this little, you know, the fact that it's kind of protected a little bit, even though it's not covered, I'm guessing that's going to help keep the humidity in, but let's give it a try. So I'm going to drag the stick across. Oh, well. Okay, so it's completely dry here on the tail end, but once we get up over here, it's, uh, it's in, in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of tackiness, but overall we still have good paint there. So, All right, so uh, we've got the timer going. We're going to run another hour, and we're going to check everything again here at two hours. So, so far we have one hour expended on our uh, little experiment. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera off and turn it back on right when we get to two hours. So we'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. We're at the two hour mark. So I should mark, mark on here. We're now at the two hour mark. Here we go. Okay, let's check everything out. So we've got our little, our little uh, toothpick, our little special toothpick. Let's check first with the... Uh, here on the tail end, yep, we still have soft paint out here on the uh, Stay Wet palette, which is as expected. All right, so now let's try uh, the aluminum foil. So when we last tried it at uh, one hour, we had a problem where we couldn't bring any paint across. Let's see up on the tail, now it's still stuck. 
So we've got some dragging of the paint and it's gotten very kind of thick and viscous, but we've got some soft still inside that we've got here. So that's, that's our foil. All right, let's see cardboard how you're doing. So here, like first hour, this is just unusable now. This is, okay, now we're running through, but we're, we're getting little clumps on the end. Let me just test over here. It looks like it's getting a firm core. And then uh, now if we drag it across, we still can get some soft paint inside. So here at two hours, we're still, we still have a soft core on the inside of the, uh, and I guess it goes without saying that we would also have a soft core there with the uh, Stay Wet palette. Okay, paper plate, let's see how this is looking. So uh, before, at one hour, we were getting some areas where it was getting gummy, and so we have it's gummy. Do you see it's gummy, but it's not really good for painting? It's kind of just gummed up and thick. Let's uh, see what our core looks like. We've got some a little bit of it still getting kind of sticky up in the core. All right, now plastic lid. What have you got here? So plastic lid. This is just uh, just hard as hard and unusable as paint. Now on the edges, we're getting a little bit of we're getting it's kind of getting in the clumps. And we've got some soft, but still a little bit of soft stuff in the middle. All right. Now, how about the plastic bowl? Let's see. This is hard and it's getting, we've got like a, a bit of like some hardening here. That's a clump. But we've got still soft on the inside at two hours, so that's still looking pretty good. So if you get pulled away for a couple hours, you could still rejuvenate your paint. Uh, parchment, based on what happened last time, and I guess parch parchment's not doing so well because it was already getting hard at hour one. Oops, let me get those, some of those hard pieces up and over. All right, so yeah, look at that. It's, um, it's definitely hard, although we've got some soft still on the inside. Still paintable there and some, definitely still some soft in there. I'm going to, because we've been messing around with the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and also wiggle this stuff around just so it's fair. I'm going to open that up and move that around a little bit just so we can see. But do you see we don't really have any like hard clumps of things. Nothing is hard. Everything is still soft and workable in the Stay Wet first. As soon as we hear the bell, there will be four hours in our experiment that have elapsed since we started this. Oh, there's the bell. Okay, so uh, so what we want to do now is uh, it's getting actually dark. So I'm going to put uh, the day is gone. And we start out with natural light, and now after the four hours, we're, <laughs> we're getting dark. So I just tossed on a supplementary light here. And uh, what I want to now see is uh, let's just look and see how everything's doing. So uh, paper plate, okay, that's pretty much trashed. Plastic lid, see that's, you see it's just everything's dry on here. Parchment paper, this paint is, is trashed. Um, cardboard, this is not usable anymore. Aluminum foil, same thing, same story, not usable. So let's see now, the plastic bowl has been holding up the best and the theory is that maybe the humidity is being held in there a little bit. But um, got, it's, it's pretty much gone too. It's, it's uh, let's see, there's a little bit, little bit of play there, but, uh, but that's pretty much gone too. Now let's go over to look at our, um, th our yeah, look at that. So here's our Stay Wet palette. This is all you know, just as pristine and good. Um, come on the other side here. It's just as pristine, the Stay Wet palette. Look at that, it's just as good as it was before. I'll use one of my knives. And then look at that. So after four hours, every bit of the paint is usable 
on the Stay Wet palette. Now one note about this is that we have left the lid, nothing's been covering this this whole time, and we have left the lid off. So a person can always, you can, here's the sponge exposed under here. You can always uh, put more water in because this paper here is getting to the limit of when it's gonna start drying out. And so the trick is either you can put some more water in, uh, just run, and I'll put a little bit of water in here. You can do that. Just put a little bit more water like that on the sponge, like that, and then um, and then of course be sure to use the lid. So I was just using this just as an experiment to see what the limits are. You know, so let's say you had a painting session that went four hours. You never covered your your Stay Wet palette. Look at that, that paint. Whereas this other paint would be wasted and has to be thrown away, this paint is still in perfect working condition. So let's get the lid on this thing, and we're good to go. And I know from experience in using this that I can come back literally a week later, lift off my lid, and it's going to be just as workable as it was. So, um, And then you can just push down on the lid like, there we go. Well, anyway, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you'll um, come to the studio again and visit with me and also come out to my live streams. So until next time, this is Dina Tollefson. Bye-bye.